What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 33 of our Wolfpack Return to Primetime Dynasty. We are in our week 4 recruiting. Uh, as you can see, we're still working on trying to get a middle linebacker, uh, tight end, fullback, and a free safety. I think we need two middle linebackers. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. I think it shows at the very beginning of this video, but uh, I just want to talk a little bit. Um, the Duke uh, stuff that will be going up um, later, probably today. Um, some stuff I'm talking about in it is not very up to date. So uh, anytime that I do these type of videos and then I don't put them up for a little bit, stuff is going to be out of date. So um, just ignore some of the stuff that I talk about. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot of videos, especially with the NCAA stuff. Been really, really busy. Um, I have a lot of stuff um, rendered out and ready to go up. Um, but I haven't been able to do a lot of recording. Uh, I'm actually on my last day today of actually having a Christmas break before I start school on Thursday because I work tomorrow. Um, so uh, some of the stuff won't, uh, it won't be as packed right now because I don't have a lot of days off. Um, but uh, the days I do have off, I'm trying to get as much stuff I, as I can recorded. Um, just basically just trying to keep uh, everything really just kind of up to date. Um, I'm pretty sure that the the next Duke game is not recorded, so I need to go do that Georgia Tech game. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then this game, I mean this video, uh, is before the Florida State game, which I need to go record as well. Um, also, I've just been really really tired, so I really haven't had a lot of time to. And there's been so many games that have come out that I've been playing those and stuff like that. So um, but I'll get back into it, uh, especially when school starts. I'll need something to kind of counteract um, school and work, kind of keep my hobbies up, especially since now I'm having to retake the ACT. Um, so after February 9th, it will be a lot better. Um, but until then, um, really don't expect to see a lot of NCAA stuff. Um, it will be a lot more... Um, I guess, uh, what would be the term for it? I guess a lot more Minecraft and the Sly Cooper stuff going up because I already have those things rendered out. And uh, if you are wanting to get in on the series of Minecraft, you need to send me a message and let me know. I already had one guy ask it to be in it, and he's going to be in it next time that we uh, record. I haven't recorded uh, that in probably about two or three weeks. But um, same with same with uh, Sly Cooper, wow. Um, let me go do some of that here in a second. Um, but definitely uh, you need to uh, let me know if you want in all that series on Xbox. Um, i trying to think of any other things. Um, the Madden stuff, um, the Eagle stuff, says that will only be like 18 videos. Uh, that is definitely on the back burner. Um, it's not like completely gone, but because these take a lot more time, I usually put more time into making these. Um, but the Eagle stuff will definitely be around still. Um, I will only probably do about one season with the Eagles, and then um, we'll probably just focus on this, or I'll do an online franchise, um, or I will go and play some Madden 12 and record that. Um, so yeah, so that's just kind of an update. Um, also, uh, I reached 60 subscribers before Christmas, and I'm now currently sitting at 66. Thank you to all the people that have subscribed to me in the past couple weeks. That is fantastic. That is awesome. Um, I'm just shooting for 70. My goal is 70 by uh, by Valentine's Day, um, which I should be able to get. Um, so I'm glad that people are starting to like my videos a lot more. I'm getting a lot more feedback, which I like. Um, I'm just happy to be able to bring you guys content that I enjoy making and that you guys seem to enjoy watching. So, um, I was working on Tanner Hall. Um, he was actually, his top thing was winning a championship, and uh, he has us, and Virginia is his top two, which probably our least amount of chance that we'll actually get into the championship game, but you never know. Speaking of championship games, the BCS National Championship game was last night. Uh, that was a complete route, and uh, that was just, 
I don't even know that. I'm so glad that Alabama won. Um, but uh, it's just a little, a little depressing to see that for two weeks, two years now, you know, it's been pretty boring to watch um, the national championship game. Um, there really hasn't been an exciting game since the uh, really since the uh, Texas USC game back in '06. Um, because or 07 actually because uh you know that game pretty much came down to the end and since the sec has got into the championships with tebow and then now alabama and lsu i think won one year it just it's pretty much you know it's not as exciting as it used to be um but uh notre dame i think was a little overrated um they lost. They, you know, they they lost to to Stanford, um, back in October. Um, they didn't say it, it's not. It didn't go in as a loss, but the ball crossed the line, and he even fumbled it in the end zone. And a Stanford guy even recovered it in the end zone. And so, I'm not gonna get into that, but um, definitely not the best national championship game. I'm so, but I'm so happy that Alabama killed him. I was rooting for Alabama. Not an Alabama fan by by far, um, but I root for Alabama before I root for Notre Dame. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's really uh, you know that's my take on the national championship. Uh, but I uh, but going back to our our video stuff, I I think that um, I think that this this series will definitely continue on. I don't know how many years I'm gonna do this one. I think I'll probably do one more season for uh, NCAA for for NC State, sorry, um, and then I'm gonna do two seasons with Duke. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go over here and uh, we're gonna go check on an injury report real quick, and uh, we have nobody injured, and we're actually going to go and take a look at um, what. Um, how we stack up against Florida State, <sighs> which we beat them last year, and they still got into the championship game. Um, as we can see right here, they beat us in all of our ratings, but um, in, in our offense. But we are the number two defense in the country, and we're only allowing 39 rushing yards a game. Um, so this should be a pretty good game defensively. Um, and Herb Street has picked them to beat us. Um, I don't think that they will. I don't want them to, but uh, hopefully they won't. Um, but it's actually kind of interesting to see that we're, we're that high in defense. Um, as we're just taking a look at, uh, at our injuries again, uh, they don't have they have uh, they have one injury, and that's one of their best. Uh, he's out for the season. Uh, be strong. I, I believe it's Brian Strong. I'm not sure. Um, but so. Uh, yeah, we're kind of favorited in the defensive zone, but other than that, we're pretty much we're pretty much the underdog. So let's go in there and get an underdog win in Tallahassee. So next time, guys, we will face the Florida State Seminoles in Tallahassee. Um, Castle has guaranteed a loss. So uh, let's see what happens. Bye.